Mm -hmm. This is it, all right. Though, it's a far cry from the school I remember. Now, I don't know if he's here or not. Still, I should go around the back. Keep a low profile. This building had just been finished when I knew it. Now, well, it's certainly seen better days. So he was just playing the part of Kiriko Doji. I don't know what he's up to. But if I help him, I can save our homeland from this war. So the Sentinel's a weapon from the future? It's strange to say, but it does make sense. After all, even one of its computers was so far beyond what we know. It feels like just yesterday. I walked these very halls to pick up Keitaro. And now, four decades have passed in a blink of an eye. Like a fairy tale. And this young lady would be? Oh, that's Kiriko-chan. She came to us from Tokyo. I'm Kiriko Doji. Why, well, miss, you're... You're stunning. M my name is Takatoshi Hijiyama. I'm going to remember this day forever. Because... It was the day you came into my life. You're a funny guy. But you seem pretty incredible yourself, Takatoshi-san. Uh, no. <laughs> I don't know about that. So what's got you all bashful and smiley in here? Kiriko-san. I mean, Okino. You really are a funny guy. Um... <clears throat> you could have just taken a nap at my place. I didn't think you'd come running after me. I'm not about to let you get away from me. I showed you my hideout. Why bother trying to run now? Still don't trust me, huh? I want to know everything about what you're trying to accomplish. I see. Well, fair enough. The question is, are you even going to believe me? I've already learned for myself that time travel is real. At this point, nothing surprises me anymore. No more secrets. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to stop the apocalypse. A force is already on its way here to destroy the world. And they've got more numbers on their side than we'll ever have. What are they? I'm not really concerned with what they are. What I want to know is, why are they coming? The answer is in something called the Decode. Let me try and break this down for you. There are other humans with modifications, like you and Miura-kun. And they're beaming out these signals, calling the destroyers here. Even though they have no idea. How do I even respond to that? See? I knew you wouldn't believe me. Th that's not what I said. I just don't know how to imagine the scale of this. An apocalypse? This other threat you said the Sentinels were meant to fight. Are you saying it's them? These destroyers? They're a huge threat, all right. And these people with modifications, like me, they're calling them here? But weren't those implants only added so we could pilot the Sentinels in the first place? Well, I made the Sentinels, sure. But I'm not the one who modified all of you. 
There's too many unknowns with the inner Lossiter. That's what I'm looking into. So there are other Sentinel pilots beyond Keitaro and I. A whole lot of them. So this inner Lossiter... It's like a little network of tiny machines. It has to be implanted into your body. So what do you want me to do now? Everybody's supposed to be in class right now. You'll stick out if you're on school grounds. We can't have you wandering around where staff can see you. It'd definitely be a liability for me, at least. There'll be more of a crowd when lunch period rolls around. Until then, you should hang out here. Sleeping face down on a school desk can't be good for my neck. Mm, Loki now. Still no sign of him. Noodles stir-fried in sauce, enfolded in sweetened bread. I don't trust much in this post-war world. But if there's one exception, it's my yakisoba pan. He told me to wait until noon. But I can only waste time napping for so long. It's quiet outside. Maybe everyone's still in their classes. I'm trying to avoid being seen here, so I'm not supposed to go outside, but... <sighs> Come on, Takatoshi! You can't just let Okino tell you what to do. I can't wait any longer. So basically... You mean... That means the dream is... Really? Uh... Huh? A student's duty should be to focus so on their studies. You mean... This kind of hanky-panky has no place here. Is... Really? <sighs> Not that that girl wasn't cute, I so suppose, basically... but... Clearly, she has no eye for men. But then that means the dream is... Really? Uh... Huh? So basically... You mean... But then that means the dream is... Is, though. You think so? Even Iori knows. <sighs> By the way, you know Nenji-kun? He got a letter asking to see him after school. What, for a sunset showdown? That's so old school. No, no, it was a love letter. Oh, this stuff again? You sure love your romance gossip. It's not like that. It super is, though. You think so? Even Iori knows. <sighs> oh. Did you see him? That boy was so cool. Was he? 
Does he even go to our school, though? Oh, please. There. That has to be... I can't let myself get spotted now. Okina would probably never let me hear the end of it. I should look somewhere else for Okino. That's... You the one? Said you'd be waiting here around now. Even stuffed a letter in my shoe locker, right? Yes. Shit, she's cute. Okay, so, uh, what's this about? Um, I like you. Uh, seriously? You? Me? Yes. Kisaragi's bullshit was starting to get to me. Maybe I'm kind of a stud after all. What? No! Kiriko-san! That rat bastard! He don't go for another fella's girl! Huh? What's your problem? Hey! Put him up! Uh, hold on! Uh. Oh, jeez. Uh, did I just... I can't believe you, Hijiyama-kun! This is... I mean... Don't tell me. You were jealous. I... of course not! I'm sorry for hitting him. You can... like whoever you like. It's none of my business. Where's this coming from? You think I like him just because he's a guy? Uh -huh. Actually, you couldn't have picked a better time. This works. Nenji Ogata secured, despite complications. Now, help me get him into the old school building. False pretenses or not, that confession really got to him. Even knocked out, he's still blushing. I almost feel bad for him. So, that confession was just so you could analyze him, then? Why else would I do it? Destroyers. So he's implanted with the same technology as me? He's going to destroy the world? He's sending signals to the things that will. At least I thought he was. Something's off. Nenji Ogata here is not transmitting any kind of command signal. Looks like the decode signature has been changed. That's bad. Now I'm gonna have to check everyone's individual codes. More work I don't need. What changes if you can figure that out? We save the world. Or find a way to do that, at least. Sentinel. Don't we have the Sentinels? You said you created them to save us all. That's right. But we've already thrown 19 Sentinels at them and lost. Ugh. We need a bigger game changer than one or two Sentinels. That alone's not gonna make a difference. You did your homework on the Pacific War. You get it, right? When you're up against numbers like these, what can you do? <sighs> the Sentinels are meant to be a last line of defense.
there. We've got a clue. But... I can't access it from this side. He might be the only one who can. So... Where does that leave us? <sighs> Morning, Hijiyama-kun. Okino... What's going on? I looked at Nenji Ogata. He didn't have anything for me. But I took a look at your code. And I have to say, it's been very thought-provoking. Untie me this instant, or I swear, I'll... Why are you getting so worked up now? This isn't all that different from the old days in the factory lab. Just the two of us, enjoying some quality time, right? What? Even if that's partially true, things are different now. Untie me before I really get angry. Well, that's weird. You sound like you're mad, but these numbers don't lie. You're actually kind of enjoying this, aren't you? Being all tied up at the mercy of your crush? You're such a perv, Hijiyama-kun. Stop toying with me! Well, why don't we see what's really in your heart? What the...? Whoa, you really can't stop thinking about me, huh? Don't be ridiculous! I get it. You're lying to yourself. All to protect your self-image, right? But you can hide all you want. Your physical data gives it away. Don't lie to me! Fine. Why don't we take a deeper look? Stop! Wow. This really says Stop it all. Stop it! Stop, please! <laughs> 